So today I just have a real quick video on how we can navigate our presets in Strobe 2 really quickly using our computer keyboard, which this may be something that you may have overlooked. So we're going through our presets and you might grab your mouse, click it and go to the next one. But you can actually use the keys on your computer keyboard, the up and down key. Click the down key, you'll see I change presets. Click that a few times here in a row. There it goes. So that makes it a really easy way to navigate our presets without our hand having to come off of our keyboard here really and grab a mouse. Of course it all depends on how you have everything set up. But you know, using one hand on one keyboard with another hand on another keyboard, just makes it really easy to audition your sounds instead of going back and forth, uh, you know, between your keyboard and your mouse. And furthermore, this really comes in handy when you're not using a physical keyboard to audition your sounds, but maybe you're using the on-screen keyboard here. So instead of having to press your keys on your on-screen keyboard and then come back over to choose another one, simply use your up and down keys. Use those up and down keys or on your keyboard, that way you're not having to go back and forth between your on-screen keyboard and your preset browser. Now if I were to say, uh, play a preset here, then I'll use my keyboard to choose another one. And now let me make a change. And now if I hit my up and down arrows, you'll see I'm actually not changing my preset. Okay, but this is not really a big deal because you can click almost anywhere to focus your browser again. So I could click on the scope and there we go. Now we're changing our presets. Again, let me make a change. Up and down arrow, not changing, but let me just press on my on-screen keyboard. And then again, I can change. Make another change here. Up and down arrow, don't work. I could of course just click in the browser. Once again, up and down keys work. Make a change here, make a change here. Up and down keys don't work. Click in any gray area. Again, up and down keys work. So this is not really a big deal. I just wanted to make sure I pointed that out. But if you make a change, okay, and then you immediately go to change your preset with your keys, it's not going to work, which makes sense because you'll probably want to audition that sound first anyway. So quickly audition it. Now you can move on because you clicked on the keyboard. So now our browser's in focus again. And there we go, using our keyboard to navigate our presets again. All right, so that's all for this video. Just a real quick way to navigate through all 925 presets included in Strobe 2. Go check it out if you don't have it. Just head over to fxpansion.com and download your free trial. It's a super awesome, fun time synth. <laughs> Strobe 2 is a freaking sweet synthesizer. Definitely go check it out, or at least check out the free trial. Using the up and down keys on your keyboard is a quick and efficient way to demo all of the sounds in Strobe 2.